Hi, welcome to this presentation on how to configure the NetCool EIF probe to receive events from ITM 6.3. Right, to begin with, let's bring in our event list. This is an event list for my object server called ITM. This uh, ITM object server is going to receive events from the Tivoli EIF probe. So let's bring in my Tivoli EIF probe server. Okay, so my probe server is here. I'm going to open up the EIF props file. Okay, so this is the Tivoli EIF props file. I've pasted the settings I want for this probe at the bottom. Okay, so by default it li listens on port 9998, oh, sorry, but I've pasted it at the end here. I've set the message level of this probe to debug and it's going to generate a log file in the following location. The name of my, ser my server is ITM, which is the name of my object server, so I've specified it here as well. Okay, so that's uh, some of the probe side configuration. Let's bring in my ITM server now. Okay, so this is my ITM server. All right, now if I want to go to my TEMS uh, monitoring server and check the configuration, I click reconfigure here. This is running on Windows. Click OK, OK. Right, and I'll get this prompt which is going to ask me to specify the IP address and port number for the probe I'm going to send my ITM events to. So this is the IP address of my probe server and this is the port number that the probe is going to be listening to events for. So as you can see here. Right, so that looks OK. Let's click OK. So this is going to cause my temp server to be restarted. So I'll click yes. Wait a couple of seconds. Okay, and once we've confirmed that's all up and running again, so we can see it's all started. There is actually a configuration file that gets written to. This is called the om underscore tech config. Right, and so if you go into that tech om underscore tech config file, you will see the server location that we just defined and the port number uh, we just defined. So this is the server location and server port number of our probe, our EIF probe. Right, let's go back to our EIF probe server and start it. Right, so let's close that. And start the probe. Okay, so that's going to do use our default props file. Let's bring in our event list. Okay, so we're already starting to get some events in there. We sort by manager. Okay, we can see some Tivoli EIF events. So we are starting to receive events from Tivoli EIF already. Okay, so that concludes this brief uh, how to set up guide. Uh, in the next section, I'm going to discuss uh, diagnostics. Okay, in this section I'm going to cover uh, diagnostics and uh, troubleshooting for this CEIF ITM integration. Right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to show you some things we can look at on the ITM server side. So if I bring in my ITM server over here, okay, so the first thing I want to do is look at my ITM services and make sure that my TEM server is up and running. Okay, so you can check first of all your TEM server's up and running. Okay, so if your TEM server's up and running and you're still not getting events, you want to check that the TEM server's configured properly. So what you can do is you can go to the om underscore tech underscore config file and make sure that the correct IP address for your probe server and port has been defined. So in this case it's correct, right? And uh, if not, you need to edit this file and restart the TEM server, right? But in this case, uh, it's fine, so we don't have to do anything. 
If we go down a little bit, another useful file is the om underscore tech dot cache file. So this is a cache file generated every time the ITM sends an event. All right, so every time it sends an event, it's written into in this file. Once it's successfully sent, the file is deleted or cleared, right? So here it is over here. Um, as you can see, it's zero kilobytes. But what's useful about this is the timestamp. The timestamp shows us when the last event was sent. Right, okay. So now let's go to our probe server and see what we can do on that side if we need to look at uh, troubleshooting. Okay, in regards to debugging on the probe side, uh, aside from firewall issues, port issues, etc., uh, the first place to look at is the Tivoli EIF.log file generated by the probe. So, uh, depending on where you specified it, it will be in the Omni Home log directory by default. So, you can um, have a look at that file. So, let's just moor it quickly. So, in this case, it was all up and running and working fine, but um, putting it into debug, we can see that it outputs all the properties it's using and we can go through the file and review if there are any errors. Right, so this gate was all up and running. Okay, if I wanted to debug it further, I can go into the probe properties file. Right, so this is my probe properties file. Okay, if I have anything to do with the rules file issues, etc. Uh, first thing obviously is check you're using the correct rules file. Um, uh, if you want to uh, sort of uh, replay events, etc. Um, retry a test. Um, another thing to look at is um, enabling the raw capture property, okay, which will generate a raw capture file. If we go down a little bit further, there's also a stream capture property which will uh, generate a stream file once you set this property to true. Okay. Um, there are other further EIF uh, debugging uh, utilities available. Okay, so there are further tracing options available for this probe. Uh, you can set them using these following properties, uh, uh, which will generate uh, files in these directories. Uh, the documentation covers this in more detail. Um, I'll post all links at the end of this uh, video in the description section. Okay, thank you very much for watching.